about 100 vendors, the Olympia Farmers Market celebrates its 43rd anniversary this year. The market on Thursday welcomed the four-day spring and summer season, which runs from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Thursday to Sunday. Everything fresh and colorful was on display, ready to be snapped up by an early swarm of market shoppers. As one of the largest in the state, Di Matteo says Olympia Farmers Market attracts more than 5,500 people on a busy day. It would not be sustained without um, these dedicated businesses here and also a dedicated group of shoppers. She says it's imperative that farmland is preserved in Thurston County and South Puget Sound. We have then uh, almost a responsibility, I feel like, to make sure that farmland is protected, that um, food uh, has a reliable, viable market, that people are aware of the importance of sourcing locally, keeping money internally throughout our county and region, and making sure that that money is spent not with big box stores or corporations, but it's spent with us. Melissa Southwick has been operating Spring Creek Farm in Rochester with her husband Chris Robinson for about 20 years. While Southwick has been selling plant starts at the farmer's market for about 20 years, her husband has been there 30 years. She's seen market demand grow dramatically in their farm's five greenhouses. We go through a lot. We like to fill our greenhouses and, you know, just move through them many times in the season. James J.J. Johnson, owner and operator of the 17-acre Johnson Berry Farm on Wiggins Road in Olympia, has been selling his berries and berry jam almost as long as the farmer's market has existed. So this is my 40, going on my 42nd season. Uh, I started when I was nine. That's how I made my school money, uh, pick a few boxes of berries, bring them down. Uh, my mother drove and yeah, we're down here with the hippies. Johnson processes his organic jams and salad dressings at a commercial kitchen on the farm. Besides organic foods, the market features crafters with handmade products. Katrina Walker of Shelton is one of them. She makes handcrafted products such as gift cards, refrigerator magnets, and magnetic bookmarks. Walker has been a vendor at the market for 30 years and she's seen big changes since she started up. Oh my gosh, I would never sell what I sold. You know, when I started with, it's kind of like embarrassing to see it. Why? Oh, it's so primitive and hardly anything. So yeah, you learn and grow and you expand and you learn a lot from your customers, which is fabulous. Di Matteo shares the market's other assets. Shopping at the farmer's market not only is a really great experience, it's social, it's fun, there's daily live music. We have eight, now eight great restaurants. We're recently joined by Our Table, which is a great uh, farm to table model of beautiful food preparation. Um, all of these attributes that, that make the farmer's market so great, but it's also such a, a driver of economic development. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News.